The story of Addie Hall and Zach Bowen shocked the city of New Orleans in 2006. Hall and Bowen had gained notoriety for staying in New Orleans during Hurricane Katrina in 2005, which garnered them national media attention. In fact, it seemed like a romantic story of a couple who fell in love during one of the greatest natural disasters in New Orleans history. However, there was a dark side to Hall and Bowen's relationship, one that involved excessive drinking and drug use that eventually led to violent fights. And in the early hours of October 5th, 2006, the relationship would take a fatal turn. In May of 2000, Zach Bowen joined the U.S. Army and would serve in both Kosovo and Iraq. During his time in the military, Bowen received a NATO medal and the Presidential Unit Citation, which is often given to soldiers who show extreme bravery in the face of armed forces. Bowen eventually returned to New Orleans after his time in the Army and took on various bartending jobs. Despite Bowen's friendly outward persona, those close to him claim he struggled with the memories of his time in Iraq. Bowen's friends would later recall he had a terrible memory of a young girl and her family who were killed in a bombing. It's been speculated over the years that some of Bowen's behaviors, including violent outbursts directed at Hall, were the result of post-traumatic stress disorder, which affects a high number of veterans. Before the events of October 2006, Addie Hall and Zach Bowen had been well known for staying in the French Quarter during Hurricane Katrina. The couple had only been dating for a few weeks when Hall invited Bowen to stay with her during the storm which seemed to be what bonded them together in such a short amount of time. In the immediate aftermath of Katrina, the couple created a community amidst the destruction that had fallen on New Orleans. Hall and Bowen would serve drinks to neighbors in exchange for food and water, an effort that earned them media attention, including an article in the New York Times. But Hall and Bowen's relationship would take a noticeable turn as life in New Orleans slowly went back to normal. Their time making drinks for neighbors has been described as a vacation, but the couple once again began fighting as they went back to their real lives. Friends later confirmed Hall and Bowen fought constantly, and broke up so frequently that no one was ever sure if they were together or not. During this time, Bowen quit paying child support and no longer wanted to co-parent his two children with Lana Shupak. Allegedly, Hall didn't like the fact that Bowen had children and instead wanted him to focus all his attention on her. The couple's drinking and drug use has been reported to have escalated as their relationship became increasingly unstable, and this is when things took a turn for the worst. On October 17, 2006, around 8.30 p.m., New Orleans police received a disturbing call from the Omni Royal Orleans Hotel. A man's body was on the roof of the parking garage. Upon arriving and seeing the severely mangled body, it was clear the man had died on impact. Unsure if they had a murder, suicide, or tragic accident on their hands, the investigators began by searching the body for ID. In the man's back pocket, they found a note, reading in part, This is not accidental. I had to take my own life to pay for the one I took. If you send a patrol to 826 North Rampart, you will find the dismembered corpse of my girlfriend, Addie, in the oven, on the stove, and in the fridge, along with full documentation on the both of us, and a full signed confession from myself. Police immediately rushed to the address, a small apartment above the Voodoo Spiritual Temple. Once inside, they were confronted by something out of a horror movie. Despite the warm October weather, the apartment was cold, the air conditioner was set to max, the walls were spray painted with haunting messages of regret and pain, such as, I'm a failure, and instructions to call Zach's ex-wife and tell her he loved her. But one message would be especially haunting, an arrow painted on the wall that directed them to the stove. There. In a pot on one of the burners was a human head, burned beyond recognition. In another pot were hands and feet. Inside the oven, in a large roasting pan, were arms and legs, also burnt. 
Investigators noticed that there appeared to be seasoning on the limbs. And on the counter next to the stove were cut up potatoes and carrots. And inside the refrigerator, in a large plastic bag, they found the torso. But as horrifying as these discoveries were, police would soon find even more disturbing evidence in Addie Hall's journal. It was eventually learned from Bowen's signed confession written in Addie Hall's journal that he had strangled Hall to death on October 5th, 2006 and then left her body in their bed for several days. Bowen eventually dismembered Hall's body in the apartment's bathtub, then cooked her remains in an attempt to dispose of her body. Police also noted that the apartment's air conditioning was blasting in an effort to slow down the decomposition. Bowen's eight-page confession written in Hall's journal described both his feelings about the murder and what he did in the two weeks between the killing of Hall and jumping from the rooftop bar. Bowen wrote, I scared myself not by the action of calmly strangling the woman I love for one and a half years, but my entire lack of remorse. I've known forever how horrible a person I am. Bowen also explained that he had withdrawn $1,500 from the bank following the murder, which he said he spent on good food, good drugs, and good strippers. Bowen apparently knew he was going to die by his own hand and wanted to enjoy the final days of his life as much as possible. This case undeniably has many disturbing aspects, but I believe that if you were to take anything away from this, it should be that mental health is key. Make sure to take care of yourself, and if you suffer from PTSD, depression, or any other form of mental health issues, please seek help. Things do get better. And remember, war is hell. Stay safe out there.